Join us today as we discuss the story of La Pascualita, a mysterious tale of disappearance, haunting, and some say mummification. In La Popular's bridal shop in Chihuahua, Mexico, there has stood the most peculiar mannequin for over 90 years. Adorned with incredible detail and encased behind a glass display case wearing a pristine white wedding dress, stands the mannequin known as La Pascualita. Other than to be changed by employees, the mannequin has not moved to this day, where she still inspires speculation, worship, and fear. She has become a pilgrimage for the most intrigued mystery sleuths, ghost hunters, horror fanatics, and even superstitious brides-to-be. As much as La Popular still functions and sells wedding dresses and bridal accessories, it is also known as a tourist attraction and destination for those intrigued by the urban legend of La Pascualita. So let us open the book on La Pascualita and discuss the history, theories, and folklore of the mummified mannequin. Let us start with the name of La Pascualita and its origin. The owner of the shop, in 1930 when the mannequin first appeared, was a lady named Pascuala Esparza. As such, it is considered that Pascuala was responsible for placing the mannequin in the shop window in the first instance. Pascuala was a family woman whose daughter was due to be married. Records are not available to confirm the name of Pascuala's daughter, leading to greater mystery and speculation in terms of the events to follow. As the story goes, Pascuala's daughter was bitten by a Black Widow spider on the day of her wedding. Black Widow bites are known to be amongst the most toxic and painful to experience. It is highly likely that, if this story is true, the daughter suffered an agonizing fate. So far, this may sound like a simple but tragic story of a young woman taken from her family and fiancé at a young age. While this much may be true, the story takes a dark and mysterious turn from here. Because of the time and uncertainty surrounding the names of those involved, it is impossible to know what happened to the body of the bride. Very soon after the death of Pascuala Esparza's daughter, the mannequin appears in her bridal shop, and rumors spread amongst the locals. As the legend goes, La Pascualita is not a mannequin at all, but rather the preserved body of Pascuala Esparza's deceased daughter. So, what led people to this conclusion, and why is this mystery captivated and endured for nearly a century? Let's look at the most obvious motivation, that being the grief of a mother who lost her daughter ahead of her wedding day. The day itself is held by many as one of the happiest days in a person's life even more so by someone such as Pascuala, who dedicated her life to making wedding dresses. It is undoubtedly understandable that Pascuala would aspire to preserve the happiness of her daughter's wedding, but just how far would she take it? One thing that we must consider is what else may have happened to the body. If the locals, including people who knew the Esparza family, were so quick to speculate, then it stands to reason that no burial took place or at least none that the locals were aware of. But why would people even speculate, or go as far as to outright believe that La Pascualita was indeed Pascuala's daughter? Surely a mannequin and a woman are easily distinguishable. The reasoning behind the rumors is evident when we see the details on La Pascualita, from the eyes to the intricacies of the hands, and even the veins on her body. Shrouded in such mystery that only a very select few have ever been allowed to handle La Pascualita or change her dress. When we picture a mannequin in a storefront, it is rare that we see one with eyes, and when we do, they are most likely painted on. One look at La Pascualita, and we see clearly three-dimensional eyes embedded behind the face. The smallest details, such as the darker eye color or the slightly off-center pupils, add to the eerily lifelike sensation given off by her. These are not the kinds of details found on even the most detailed mannequins. Skeptics may suggest other reasons to put detail into a mannequin's face. Notably, it would make sense that facial features may draw potential customers into the store. However, what is less explainable is the reason behind the details on her hands. Examining La Pascualita's hands, 
we see such lifelike lines on her palms and fingers. There appears to be dirt around the fingernails and finger joints. Perhaps the most peculiar detail of all is the purple and yellow discoloration. Purple marks like this on the skin are often considered a sign of lost circulation and decay, whilst the yellow may be an indication of the use of embalming fluids to preserve a body. It has been pointed out that embalmers work in exceptionally dry conditions in order to help preserve bodies, and that the dry climate of Chihuahua, Mexico would be a near-perfect environment to preserve an embalmed body. This would explain how the mannequin has remained so intact despite being near to a century old. Whilst there are not extensive amounts of photographs of Pascuala Esparza's daughter, there are a few, and even more of the shop owner herself. We can let you be your own judge, but you could be excused for thinking the resemblance was uncanny. Beyond what we can simply see from examining La Pascualita in isolation, we can hear the stories and practices surrounding this strange figure. The most common stories associated with La Pascualita is that her eyes move, and more notably are considered to follow patrons of the shop and passers-by on the street. Furthering the mystique of this figure is the fact that so few people in history have ever been allowed to touch or change the dress that she is wearing. In fact, every time that she is changed, it is done so behind a curtain. The truth of what lies beneath the dress is known by very few people. Stories from those who have touched her and could confirm any of the legends are rare. However, one such employee has spoken about changing La Pascualita, saying, Every time I go near Pascualita, my hands break out in sweat. Her hands are very realistic, and she even has varicose veins on her legs. I believe she's a real person. Is this the legend taking hold of those closest to it? or a true peek behind the curtain from those who know best? Accepting that La Pascualita is an inherently peculiar figure does not lend simply to one urban legend. In fact, her story extends to an entirely separate folklore, one of love, magic, and enchantment. As legend goes, a traveling magician from France became enthralled by the mannequin. Mesmerized by her eyes, he would return to the shop window every night and bring her to life in order to dance with her. Little is known about the identity of the French magician and whether he was ever a real traveler to La Populaire or simply a character created to fill out the mythology of La Pascualita. Nonetheless, his presence has been added to the ghost story and he is thought to dance or simply walk with her every night. So much as the French magician entrenched in the legend of La Pascualita, people continue to swear by seeing the ghostly figures of the two to this very day. Without a doubt, the tragic passing of Pascuala Esparza's daughter is a horrible tale of a lady who died at a young age. However, the story of La Pascualita is not about her life or even her death. It is the story of her afterlife and the legacy. It is believed by many that La Pascualita's first appearance in the bridal shop window was on March 25, 1930, the day of incarnation. This has led to many seeing her as a figure of worship. To some, she is the symbol of the community and is considered to bestow luck and even heal the sick. Travelers and locals present La Pascualita with gifts, and many brides believe that it is especially fortunate to be married in the dress she was wearing when they visit the shop. The current owner of the store seems inclined to keep the myth alive and the truth about La Pascualita hidden. When asked about the mannequin, he replied, Is it true? I really couldn't say. Is La Pascualita truly the mummified body of a bride bitten by a black widow spider? who has secretly been on public display for over 90 years? If so, it is a tragic and horrifying origin and perhaps a gruesome display of misplaced grief. However, it seems, as far as spirits go, she may be on the side of good and fortune. If you ever have the chance, maybe you could have a look for yourself and make up your mind. But who's to say she won't have a look back at you? If you know of any other scary urban legends, let us know in the comments below, and we may feature them on here soon. Thank you to everyone for tuning in.
leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you all again real soon.